Now the over 1.1 million people in Alabama are fully vaccinated. Those immunization cards have become a prized possession, but is there a real need to hang on to them? Our Kelly Kennedy went searching for an answer. Whether you've gotten one shot or two, if you've been vaccinated for COVID-19, you are given an immunization card. If you're scheduled for a two-dose vaccine, you'll need to keep your card and bring it back for your second appointment. But what if you're fully vaccinated? Is there any point in keeping it? Experts say yes. You know, I tell people right now, keep your card as though it were your credit card or your driver's license or another important document. COVID vaccine providers do keep an electronic record of your vaccinations, but it can be beneficial to keep your card and even snap a picture of it. If a person goes to another state, perhaps they are ill, they go to a hospital for another reason, they go to an emergency room for another reason, they're asked about COVID vaccine, they may not remember what day they got it, what dose they got, uh, what a uh, particular product they received. Many people are opting to laminate the paper cards. I really don't see a reason not to laminate your card if you don't want it to, you know, get to, uh, I guess we might say, uh, water spotted or soiled or something like that. However, some people are deciding against laminating theirs in the case of potentially needing a booster shot in the future. There's a little space on there and certainly uh, boosters could be added to that card and, and perhaps People may be asked to bring their cards in for booster and again for documentation of what their immunizations are, what their record shows, but we're also going to have that in our electronic registry. There are no rules of what you can or cannot do with your immunization card, but holding on to it can prove to be useful. Putting the Valley first, Kelly Kennedy, WZDX News.